I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve algebraic equations when more than one operation is required. What I am trying to say is we learned in the previous video how to solve equations like x minus 7 is equal to let us say 4 and we also learned how to solve equations like 2x equals to 6 or one third of an x is equals to let us say 5. Now, to solve this equation, x minus 7 equals to 4, we could add 7 on both sides, right, and solve for x. So, what we get here is x is equals to 7 plus 4 as 11. In this particular case, we could divide by 2 on both sides and then get x is equals to 2 and 2 cancel, 6 divided by 2 as 3. In this particular case, since division is there, we'll multiply by 3. So we could multiply by 3 on both sides, then 3 and 3 cancels as it cancels here for 2's. So we get x is equals to 5 times 3 as 15. So those were the methods which we learned while doing algebraic equations in the previous video. Now we will combine them. You get the point. So instead of just saying x minus 7 equals to 4, we will say 2 times x minus 6 equals to 4. So, first operation will be add 6, second will be divide by 2. You get the point. So, this is the kind of work which we are going to do now, right? So, let's practice with this kind of thing. So, instead of 2x, I could have 3x also. 3x plus, let us say, 1 is equal to let us say 10 then what is going to be the solution and we could say it could be even half right so it could be half of x minus 1 equals to 4 how to solve such equations now let's go through these steps one by one so to solve the first one what I will do is I will add 6 on both sides so that is the first thing right so if I add 6 on both sides what do I get I get 2x equals to minus 6 plus 6 is 0, 6 plus 4 is 10. And the next step, I will divide by 2, right? So I'll divide by 2 here. So when I divide by 2, I get my solution, which is x equals to 5, correct? So we are involving two steps, correct? Now that is what we'll do in this particular exercise. Now for you to practice, let me give you a question here. So which is similar, you can write this as 5 of x minus 3 equals to, let us say 12, find the solution for this one. Let's do the next one. Here since I have plus 1, I will do minus 1 both sides. After doing minus 1, I will get 3x equals to 9 then I have to divide by 3. When I divide by 3, 3 and 3 cancel, we get x equals to 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now you should also check your answers. If x is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Left side is equal to right side, so that is just the correct solution, right? Now let me give you one question here with plus sign. So we'll say 2x plus 5 is equal to let us say 7 okay let's do the last one here so in this case what should you do first add 1 this is minus add 1 correct if you add 1 you will get half of x is equals to 4 plus 1 as 5 next step should be multiply by 2 so we'll do times 2 both sides that dot means times 2 2 and 2 cancel so once you cancel that, you get on the left side x and 5 times 2 is 10. That is your answer. You can check your answer. Half of 10 is 5. 5 take away 1 is 4. That is perfect, right? Here is your question to practice. So we'll do 1 over 3 this time. x, let me say minus. So what do you want here? 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's say 3 itself. And any number on that side, let it be 1. So, as a practice, do these three questions, write down your answers, and then move on to the next set of videos.
I hope that should help. Thank you and all the best.